Hey guys, my name is Rudy and this is my resume. So, I'm a big arcade fan, as you can see here. So, I've already built my two arcade machines as you see here, but I've, uh, now I'm looking at what I could have done better. And I'm also looking at some questions that keep popping up on different forums, like the Grunz Retro Show uh, forum on Facebook. So today we're going to talk about speaker insulation and how it works, what you can do, what are different options, what I think, and uh, the thing about it is uh, I built my arcade machines and I'm here to help you build yours. So anything I can do to help you, I'm here. Happy, answering, happy to answer any questions. One of the first things I want to talk about is the adapter back here. Now this is what I recommend. I recommend something like this for an amplifier. Makes it pretty simple next to it is a card. I have another video here that shows how to keep the... was designed to play pretty much anything possible with the exception of light games. I wanted to have a spinner, a trackball, and everything else, but I digressed. So, as far as speaker options, obviously what I chose is one on the left here and one on the right. And then I'm moving on to my smaller cabinet over here. And I managed to squeeze them in here too. I, uh, I really like this drilling pattern. I'll show you how to do that. And there's one on each side. The one thing I will say is uh, I do not recommend, suggest, or even endorse uh, drilling into the uh, plexiglass protector that's out there. If you want to buy your own, own uh, and try from that way, but these things are expensive. And uh, I had not had any good luck with them. I worked on a project where the thing just shatters. Now, uh, when you guys asked about you know drilling into this, making this like a stereo cabinet, you can do that. And um, I believe that actually the hollowness of the cabinet inside gives you some of the bass that you're used to hearing. So I'm not sure how much of a uh, mutiny it would do to have, you know, one protector that's already got the holes and another one if you modified it with uh, just a lot of cover. I don't know if that would affect the sound or not. So today I'm also here to show you uh, exactly how to make one of these and or how to modify the existing panel like this. The first thing you want to do is you want to grab... A board such as this and I'm working one-handed so I apologize and what you want to do is I like to get a straight edge that we used and then if you're designing this or you're or you're copying what you want to do is you want to go ahead and drill this hole here this one here and the same here on this side and I would actually put some screws in there or nails or something to keep it from moving and then I would go ahead and draw the outline which would go right here all the way around down here like this and I got the edge line up with the bottom here as well okay so if all I'm doing is I'm modifying the speakers and what I would do is I would duplicate my pattern so I would draw the holes in here what you want to do is you want to find a suitable drill bit that fits pretty well as this one does actually just a little bit smaller if it doesn't go in like this one isn't then you want to go with a smaller drill bit but I really like this pattern and so we want to go ahead and drill this out um, you want to start with the middle and work your way out drill all the stuff and then when you're done to make a stereo cabinet you would flip this over match this exactly the way you did the other one because that should though the holes should line up drill this side and now you got a stereo cabinet so I think this is uh, one of the ways that would actually work you could also build this plywood as a template to modify the existing panel such as there's another example that I have okay so if you don't want to do that the safest and easiest way of doing this is actually put the speakers up here. Uh, this is a simple piece of, uh, I'm not even sure if it's particle board or plywood. And what I would do is I would place with a cutout, I would either uh, get a piece of scrap wood to do it on first. And, uh, and I would trace this thing out. Or, if you're brave, pop this thing right out. Draw the hole pattern can't get in here quite right 
on each side I would do you know, one on the left hand side here and one on the right hand side and that would also work um, if you want to go above above I like I said again I feel that the sound that comes from this thing is actually counts on the fact that this cabinet is pretty hollow I mean in the old days you could hear this thing really booming actually I was gonna say the top here add them up here but that would probably mess with the artwork up there and I would probably not recommend it so I would go with either option either like I said the kick plate here or try to squeeze them up on top here well guys that's it for this week if you guys have any questions like I said I'm here to help you I want to see you guys make an awesome arcade machine like I did it's been fun the making of it is almost as much fun if not more than uh, actually playing the stuff thanks guys until again Take care, and keep on gaming.